This one's tipped and complete. We'll see where they put it down. Looks to be enough as Michael Pittman Jr. made the grab. On first down, Ryan is in trouble and sacked. Brought down by Highsmith. The ball came out, and Big Will Fries is on top of it for Indianapolis. Gonna go back to the spot of the fumble yeah. as we're inside two minutes, and it was Highsmith who knocked it out. Well, there's a running clock, too. I mean, the Colts are burning up a lot of time right now with all their timeouts, and yet Ryan is letting it roll. A loss of seven on that play, and we are down to one minute left. Second and 17, and Ryan right up the gut. Dive short of the first down, and they have got to take a timeout here, I would imagine. But they're not. Wow. And it's third down. Under 40 to go. They hand off. They don't get it. Play made by Highsmith. It's fourth down. Low snap. Ryan lets it go, and this one is broken up. No flags. Steelers will take over. Fitzpatrick and Sutton came together. Paris Campbell was the target, and it's incomplete. Well, it looks like Paris Campbell is who they're trying to get the ball to at the snap. That that's they're they're hoping to get the pick. They get it, but. Ryan just not comfortable enough in the pocket to just totally turn it loose and then it becomes street ball as Campbell's trying to run around and make a play and Ryan's doing a lot of the same. There was contact John Perry down there on Paris Campbell no flags. There Four. was looks like he's underneath the neck though. It does not look like a hit on a defenseless player. And the Colts, it appears, are willing with their two timeouts. I'm just wondering about any interference there. There's the hit at the end by Fitzpatrick, but Cameron Sutton was there and no flags were thrown. Saturday was looking for one and it would have kept hope alive. Now I think it's not pass interference and I don't think it's a late hit on a defenseless player either.